my face says it all. Hey guys, how's it going? Shanley here. As you can probably tell, yes, there's balls of sweat on my head. Or a bug or something right behind me. It is hot out of here, guys. It is 3.58 p.m. on Sunday. Oh gosh, what's the date today? Sunday, September 6, 2020. And I just looked at the temperature right now. It is 100 and 16 degrees out here. 116 degrees Fahrenheit. Whew, that is like insane temperatures. But you know what? There are places on Earth that get much hotter. In fact, on my Instagram videos, I posted saying that in some areas of the Middle East, it could get up to 120 degrees to 130 degrees. There was like a place in Iraq in 2016 that went up to like 129 degrees. I'm like, that is way too hot for me, unbelievable. And this happens almost every day in the Middle East, which is insane. So I'm just thankful that we have cooler weather later on, but man, today is really hot. In fact, this past weekend, it has been extremely hot. Yesterday was like 113, today's 116 at like four o'clock in the afternoon, that is nuts. Anyways, you guys have been asking for a gardening update because ever since I stopped the daily vlogs, I haven't been posting anything about the garden. And I'm gonna have to do this quick because it is just scorching hot out here. So you may notice there's gonna be a few different changes around the garden. So let's go ahead and show you them right now. First and foremost, we have our fruit trees over here. Now you may have noticed these very interesting looking, we look like tarps on here. These are actually a special type of mesh that dad got to protect the trees, to kind of give them a little bit of shade because this heat, well, let's just say that is not very friendly towards fruit trees, especially small ones like these. So he put this around the fruit trees to give them some extra shade, get them out of the scorching heat. Did our best to try and cover pretty much everything. There's some that are not covered, unfortunately, that's okay, but still. <sighs> This is just to keep everything from burning. And unfortunately there are fires around our neighborhood. So this is what the garden is currently doing right now. It looks like we got one last remaining cucumber right there for the pickling cucumbers. Persian cucumbers are, are kind of on their last leg right now. So not a whole lot's happening over here. Ooh, there's a big old wasp right there. Ooh, there's a squirrel. There's a squirrel in the tree. We got a couple of cabbages back there, but they're kind of small. Still got some beans growing on here. We got some beans on the beanstalk there. Peppers over there. But everything is kind of just on their last leg, basically. It's kind of sad, but you know what? That makes way for our winter crops, right? Over here in the berry farm, Sean's berry farm. Right now, not so much activity. I mean, the berries are still alive, thankfully, but there's just a lot of heat. A lot, of, a lot of humidity in this area. There are the blueberries. They're actually surviving so far. Not too bad. Right about now, they would have been dead <laughs> last time we had blueberries. We got our herbs over here. Herbs are not doing too bad. We still have to fix our greenhouse, though. So, thankfully, the berries are still alive. Speaking of repairing and just trying to fix stuff around here, you're probably asking, have we done any other projects after all of this was fixed back here? The answer is no, because after like a week or so after I stopped the daily vlogs, we just started getting all of this heat and these heat waves started coming in and working out here in the heat, especially when it's 116, is not very good. So we kind of had to halt everything for now in terms of like trying to get the rest of the garden done. But, you know, as soon as all this heat is out of here, we'll be able to resume our projects. But as of right now, the only thing that we've done that's somewhat good is putting these up. In fact, Dad put those up. I helped with some of the mesh around here, but uh, the last project that we finished was back here, all of this. And I took care of all of this. All of this here was full of morning glory and ivy. Remember all the ivy was up in the tree? This privet tree though, we're keeping an eye on it because it, it's having some issues, unfortunately. So we're still trying to figure out if it's gonna get new growth on it or if we will have to eventually take it out. And if we do take it out, we're not taking it out, <laughs> I'm just saying. But the plan is that if we actually do take out the privet tree, which we're praying we don't have to, the avocado tree will go in its place. And the avocado tree is just up ahead. I'll go ahead and show you that right now. So there's the avocado tree right there. It's got all the mesh on there. It's got a little blanket to keep it from getting completely scorched. 
This is one of our pomegranate trees, and look right there, we got a pomegranate right there. In fact, two, there's two pomegranates right there in the tree. Very, very nice. We have our navel, one of our navel orange trees right here in the box. We got some oranges growing on there. First, I thought this was the grapefruit tree because just the size of these things is just ridiculous. And this is our lemon. I think it's our lemon tree. Was this lemon? No. Uh, yes, this is our lemon. So we also have our grapefruit tree. As you can see, it's actually doing pretty good. This is the one we took out of the ground. It's got some new growth on it. In fact, this is another grapefruit. These are two grapefruits, one lemon, navel right there. We also have mandarin over here. And our pepper plants are right here. They're doing pretty good. Still got some peppers, like you can see a pepper right there. Actually, little tiny peppers. As we move, oh boy, it's getting really hot back here. We got some little tiny peppers here. We got some green tomatoes in there. The tomatoes are still growing a little bit, but they're kind of starting to die a little bit, unfortunately. We have some cabbage in here. We actually got a good, nice head of cabbage from the garden that we used with some corned beef. Oh my God, it was delicious. And we got some more squash back there. The chard, I mean, actually that's not chard, that's radishes. That's doing okay somewhat. Now this actually is a little plot that we cleared out a little bit. We're gonna be putting something else in here. This is actually where the lettuce used to be, but that kind of got a little bit overgrown. So we're gonna probably do something different over here. We'll see. Got our fountain right there. Here's some more cabbages. Look at these. Remember how small these things were? Now look at this. These are just gigantic now. Here are, oh geez. Here's the rest of the cabbages right in here. There are a ton of wasps flying around me. Good grief. We've got some more cabbages right there. And you're probably wondering, well, where is my special little redwood tree? Whoa, I forgot there was a wasp right there. <laughs> the, oh my goodness, there's a ton of wasps. Look, right over here. See all these wasps that are flying around? Yikes, that is scary. Okay, well, the tree is right here. It's still growing. Still got some growth on there. But I'm a little concerned now because there's a bunch of wasps flying around over here. I hope there's not a nest over here. Although I did find a nest when I was taking out the ivy over here, so, but that could have come from the roof. But that's the tree right there. It's in this pot still right there. I don't know why this is over here. It should not be there. But anyways, tree is still here. It is growing and I am sweating bullets. <laughs> That was a close call because as I was exiting the patio, a little wasp or yellow jacket bumped into my hand. I was like, Ugh! <laughs> almost got stung. Thankfully, it didn't sting me. But anyways, the camera's getting hot. I'm getting hot. So I'm going to have to wrap this thing up. Ugh, guys, heat waves are not fun, especially during the summertime. So please, for the love of God, stay inside. Keep the air conditioning on and drink some water. Drink plenty of fluids, guys, because this is the type of weather where you'll get dehydrated very quickly. If you have some, drink some Powerade or Gatorade. Not sponsored, but still. It's good stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead in the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was kind of a quick video, but it is what it is. That is the update of the garden. As soon as something else happens, I'll sure to share with you guys here on YouTube. I'll probably first post about it on Instagram, then it's going to be a video. So, there you go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the update, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. We're kind of in the phase where stuff is dying, but that's okay because later on we'll be planning some new stuff, which is going to be a plus. Don't know what, but we'll see. Again, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. By the way, if you have never seen any or haven't seen any of my gardening videos, there's a whole playlist of them in the description down below. So be sure to check that out. Also, check out my other three channels, the Educational Series, the Disneyland Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. By the way, you can find me on Instagram. The link for that is down below as well in the description box, as well as my PO Box address. Yeah, everything's in the description box. Go and check it out. And by the way, if you can't see everything that I just mentioned, click on the Show More button. It will extend the box more so you can see everything. All the links, addresses, you name it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and seeing, as they say in Hollywood, whew, it's the non-Hollywood. I'm outside, burning to death in hell. That, my friends, is a wrap. See you next time.